Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here to share with you a project that I did which is for a challenge to Christy who is twins for me too here on YouTube. She issued a challenge where we needed to watch a tutorial that I believe was in Swedish but she had subtitles and English measurements on it and then we were to make that mini and then upload a video and then let Christy know. So the challenge began on October 12th and it ends tonight at midnight which is October 31st. Of course here I am at the last hour making it but I will say I didn't find out about it until last week and I came down tonight because I do need a quick gift and I thought it was really really cute so I wanted to give my hand at it and this is what I came up with so um I used the tea party paper by Craftsmith which was from um the Michaels uh hot buys and then also I used pink cardstock from the pink and red stack of solid color cardstock from Craftsmith and these colors are a little different than what I would use but the person that I'm going to give it to will definitely like it. I used a teal and pink rose paper for the outside and then I made a belly band and I used a lace sticker through the center of it and then I added a um, green doily and a shabby pink rosette and a large um, rimmed pearl. So for the belly band it is magnetized so that it could just come off and then here it is without the belly band. I did use Velcro instead of magnets for the inside to make it hold a little better because once photos get in here it is going to be a bit a bit thicker. So um, here is the inside. He uses birdcage paper on the top and the bottom portion. I use pieces of the cover paper for the spine strips and then I use various sheets for the pockets. On each of the pocket edges I have added these little white and silver rim stickers just to give it a little added texture and interest. And then I have just plain tags out of um, cardstock stock um, for the tags. I did not math them because once the pictures get in there I could see them um, having a bit of an issue coming in and out um, possibly. So I didn't want to add the extra bulk. So it's three envelopes and that's the second side. I used this paper for this one. I use this pretty pink and green stripe, white stripe, and a little different edging there than here. And then this one is a little different yet. Then on the last page, that one has that edging and then for the back back I just used the striped diagonal paper and I did not add anything to this this will be her page that she could just add a few pictures um, put stickers or um, a journaling spot or whatever she would like back here so I wanted to leave it as open for her to do what she needs to do um, to add to it without me adding bulk so that it could be hers or personalized to her taste. So that is my challenge and as I've said before I'm definitely a slow crafter 
other people have said it's taken them an hour, an hour and a half, and I knew if they were taking an hour, hour and a half, it was going to take me <laughs> three <laughs> to four hours to get it done because I was so slow. So, but now that I've gotten the first one down, maybe the other ones will be um, a lot quicker because I think I'm going to make some of them for Christmas presents for um, different people. So, I liked it. I think it is quicker than some of the ones that I have taken on before. So, um, I think it's um, a good a good project. And thanks, Christy, for um, bringing it to everybody's attention. I know I've seen several of them made, and I think everybody enjoys the challenge. So, thank you so much for watching, and you have a great and very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.